your business is growing, you hire more people. So now you need to create new Microsoft 365 accounts for them. In this video, I will explain how to purchase additional Microsoft 365 licenses and create the new accounts for your new employees. My name is Carlos and I help small businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace subscriptions. For more information at itwithcarlos.com. Now, you may have purchased your Microsoft 365 subscription yourself, or maybe you hire someone to help you with it, or maybe you purchased it from a Microsoft partner or reseller. In any of these cases, you can do what I will explain here to create your new Microsoft 365 account for your new hires. Now, you need to move forward and create a new users. Let me tell you, it is an easy task. All what you need is to access your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You need to have what is called the Global Admin Role assigned to your account. This will allow you to purchase the licenses and create the users that you need for your business. Here are the steps. Access the Admin Center. Purchase the Microsoft 365 licenses that you need and create the users and assign their licenses. Let's now jump to my computer and I will show you how this works. We need to start with accessing our Microsoft account. By the way, you need to have the admin role assigned to your account. If we do, we will find the admin icon here on the left. Sometimes you may need to look for the icon on the upper left corner, here on the nine little dots, and you will see the icon here, admin. Within the admin center, we will find marketplace. Sometimes the admin center doesn't have marketplace. In that case, you need to click on billing and you will find a tab that says purchase services. So in some cases you will find marketplace or purchase services within the billing section. When you click on purchase services, you will need to select the billing account type and you may see two options. Microsoft Customer Agreement and Microsoft Online Service Agreement. The first option, Microsoft Customer Agreement, will show when you purchase services from a reseller or from a Microsoft partner. So to purchase licenses directly from Microsoft, you need to select the second option, Microsoft Online Service Agreement. Then in this step, you are ready to search and select the type of licenses that you want to purchase. Here you can filter and select the specific labels that allows you to search for the license that you're looking for. For example, if I click on Microsoft 365, if we scroll down, we can review all the Microsoft 365 business licenses available. For this example, we're going to select Microsoft 365 Business Premium. As we can see, a trial is available. We're going to click on details. Here is where we can select the type of plan that we want. We can select the number of licenses. We can select the term, one month, one year or three years. And also the billing frequency, monthly, yearly or every three years. If we scroll down, we can see all the details about this type of licenses. As we said before, the trial is available for this type of licenses. Free for one month. You scroll up and select the type of plan that we want. Microsoft 365 Business Premium Trial. By the way, this license also comes with the option with no Microsoft Teams. Then we select Microsoft 365 Business Premium Trial. On the right, we will see the details about the purchase that we are about to make. We can select the number of licenses that we want. We can review our billing information. We can add a new or different credit card. At the bottom, we can see here that the subscription start on October 16. Today's date is September 16. If we scroll down, we will see the button Accept Agreement and Place Order. Then we click here. 
At this point, our order has been completed. And we are ready to create the new users and assign the licenses. So we close this. If our purchase was successful, we are ready to create the new users. Then we click on Users and Active Users. Then here we click on Add User and we will enter the information for the new user. First name, last name, and the username. The username is going to be bob.black. We can select here if we want to create the password or if we want Microsoft to create the password for us. I'm going to allow Microsoft to create the password. If we select this option here, this will ask the user to create a new password the first time he signs in. Then we click on Next. We need to select the location for this user. And here is where we are going to assign the license for this user. I'm going to select 1. Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Then I click on Next. Here we can select if we want to assign the admin role to this user. We don't want to do that for this user. Then we click on Next. We can review the information for this user. And then we click on Finish Adding. The new user with a Microsoft 365 Business Premium has been created. The information about the user is here. If we want to send the login information to the user, we can click here, Send Email. Then we can close this window. Under Active Users, we will find a new user here, Bob Black, with a Microsoft 365 Business Premium assigned. Well, we have purchased new Microsoft 365 licenses, created the user, and assigned the license. Well, now you know what you have to do the next time you hire someone and need to create new Microsoft 365 account for your business. You don't need anyone else to create new users the next time you hire a new employee. I hope this video has been helpful. If this is the case, please give a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it here down below. Thank you and I hope to see you next time. Remember, stay secure in the cloud and keep tech savvy.